Okay. Uh, so why am I making this video? I'm making this video because I feel like I need to make the video. So that's the first thing. The second thing is I get a lot of people who call me or send me an email and they say, Hey, I need help, but they, it's like, there's no follow through and I get it. I get it. I get it because I was there once too, where I knew something needed to change and I was hesitant. I was afraid because I got all these messages as a kid that, you know, whatever happens in this house stays in this house. You don't tell people what's going on in your personal life. And you can do that if you want to stay where you are. And if you want to stay where you are from a uh, mental, a financial, uh, a spiritual standpoint, whatever the case may be, if you decide that you're going to try to figure it out by yourself, that may work for some people, but for the majority of people, it does not. And so you need to have somebody in your life. And, and you may already have somebody in your life that can help you with that. But I know for me, if I had not sought professional mental health services, I probably would still be stuck in some of the dysfunction that I had. I know it helps. I know this to my bones, I know this, and I want other people to know this. So, uh, part of this video is just because I'm frustrated with the fact that people are scared, and I get it. Again, I get it because it took me, I was in my 40s when I first saw a counselor, and I'm in my 50s now, and so therefore, I get it. I get it. Um, but I just want people to know that you have to do your part. Mental health professionals are here. OK, um, they're here to help. Uh, and of course, you have to be comfortable because you have to be comfortable with the person that you're talking to. But and when people do call, you know, I do give them pats on the back for that because some people never call. But if you need help, if you know somebody who needs help, encourage them to, you know, let them know that you even go with them. If they're scared, just to go and give that support. Uh, but now, nah, why you, you know, don't be, if you're, you're either help or hindrance. So if you come, don't be no hindrance. And so it's like girl, white or boy, a man, why you got to go talk to somebody? If you got people in your life like that, then you don't need to tell them. Okay. Tell somebody else who's going to encourage you to get the help that you need. Okay. You have to do that for yourself and your family. I did it for myself and my children because I knew that I was going to repeat some of the same patterns that my mom uh, raised me on as a parent. And I did not want to do that. I wanted my kids to be less emotionally damaged than I was. And I didn't have the skills. I did not have the skills. And I was not afraid to say that because I didn't want my stuff to affect my kids. And so even if you don't have kids, but if you have other important relationships in your life, it's so important that you get the help that you need. And that doesn't mean that you're crazy. It just means that you need some help. Okay. And what I tell people all the time is there's a difference between mental health and mental illness. We all have mental health, just like we all have spiritual health, okay? Uh, we all have physical health. Um, the question is, where do you fall? You could be ill spiritually. You could be ill physically. You could be ill mentally. But you don't have to be ill. You could just be unhealthy. And so the question is, how do you try to figure that out? And, and that's where the professional comes in. You go to see a doctor. For your physical health, you go to church. If that's your thing, it's my thing. But it's, if that's your thing for your spiritual health, why not see a counselor for your mental health? Don't be afraid. Take those baby steps. Get that encouraging friend to come with you. Make the call. Show up. This is about you and doing what's best for you. It's not about what anybody else says. Not your mama, not your daddy, not your sister, not your uncle. It's about you and what makes sense for you. 
So I think that's all I got to say right now. So right now, I'm going to just say peace and leave it at that. Take care. Bye.